The industrial process has both helped and hurt us over the years in many ways. One of the byproducts of progress can often sometimes creep up on us, and before we know it, thousands of people are damaged in the name of industry. It can sometimes creep up on us and be too late to do anything about it. But at least we can look back at these events and perhaps better ourselves in the future. Ready up your respirators. Let's take a look at what happened to the small town of Denora, Pennsylvania. Denora is a borough in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Incorporated in 1901, it's about 20 miles south of Pittsburgh, and in its early years, it was the location for coal mining, steel, and wire making. It was the home of the U.S. Steel Corporation, which took the lead in producing these necessities. An up-and-coming town of industry that would in time see the fatal results of poor air quality. The year was 1948, appropriately just five days before Halloween, on October 26th, a strange yellowish fog started to roll into the streets of Denora. See, earlier in that day, an anti-cyclone appeared over the East Coast storm that had been brewing and decided it would settle over the town. True to its name, an anti-cyclone does the opposite of a cyclone, spreading out instead of staying in a narrow funnel, moving air around at high pressure in a clockwise fashion. Normally, this wouldn't be cause for concern, but Denora had a lot of hydrogen fluoride and sulfur dioxide in the air, thanks to the U.S. Steel Corporation. Like most of these weather-based disasters, the air temperature had to be just right, or wrong, and the wind had to be kicking up at just the perfect speed. By Wednesday the 27th, the fog had settled over the streets of Denora, making visibility a mess, and breathing was now on borrowed time. People were having to lean their heads out of car windows to drive slowly after somebody walking in front of them in order to get anywhere. Without an explanation, they observed and waited for the smog to clear. Surely, it would only be hanging around for a few hours, right? They waited, and waited not informed or understanding that this was air that was wreaking havoc on their lungs. Five days the smog hung in the air. Town officials and operators of the plant had a meeting and agreed to stop processing until the situation was resolved. Along with this, Halloween brought a rainfall that finally melted the substance away, but by then the damage had already been done. The first death caused by the deadly smog had occurred at 2 a.m. on the 30th, with more to follow. Twenty lost their lives quickly in those two days, and hundreds upon hundreds were starting to flood into hospitals due to respiratory problems. It didn't take long to place blame on the zinc factory in this event. Emissions from the building had killed all the vegetation within a half-mile radius around it, so it was pretty much painting a bullseye on itself. Autopsies of the deceased found fluoride levels to be 20 times higher than normal in their bodies. It was an open and closed case of bad practices mixed with weather conditions forcing people to breathe poison for five days straight. It was fortunate that the fog tampered down when it was, or a day or two later, thousands of people could have lost their lives. Instead, we ended up with a lot of permanent respiratory problems for roughly 6,000 people. While not lasting enough to cause gruesome amounts of fatality, this was the worst air pollution disaster the U.S. had seen by 1948. The town agreed that there needed to be measures in place to prevent this in the future, so we actually gained something from this. Enter the Clean Air Act of 1963, which required the United States Environmental Protection Agency to develop and enforce regulations to protect the general public from exposure to hazardous airborne contaminants. The town was small back then, and today it has few who remember this event or even talk about it, which is why I'm bringing it up here. In 2008, the Denora Museum immortalized this event with the proud slogan stating, Clean air started here. Thanks for watching. For more true crime and horror, please consider subscribing. Game with me on Twitch.
Follow me on Twitter, and as always, be well.